California's just experienced the second driest year on record. And with our state's fluctuations between wet and dry, it's easy to think that the drought comes and goes. But the reality is, we're in an increasingly drying climate. 1977 was our worst drought on record, and this year was below it. This last rain year, we received just about 48% of normal rainfall. We're running out of water. Pumping costs went up exponentially this year in order to try to compensate for lack of uh, surface water. It's been catastrophic. In the Navarro this year, we got down to zero cubic feet per second. That is a first. If there's another year like this one next year, people will be going out of business. Farmers can't get the water for their crops and their trees. It's just been punishing. Water shortages and devastating conditions are taking a toll on people and nature across our state, from the headwaters of the rivers we rely on to our coastal watersheds. When drought conditions strike, it's the nature that suffers first. If we stay on this track, over half of California's freshwater species will face extinction in the next 100 years due to intensifying cycles of drought and man-made water shortages. One of the big things we can do is not pull water out of streams in that really critical late summertime. And it doesn't require a lot of storage just to get us through that dry part of the year and leave that water in the stream for the fish. We can just add a little bit of water to keep pools connected for more days in any given dry season, we can effectively increase the probability of coho salmon survival. And in the face of climate change, that increased resiliency has benefits for every species in this watershed, including human beings, and I would argue in particular human beings. What we need is the state and the federal government to help cut some of the red tape in terms of permitting step up with funding and planning now. We can't just be reactionary. The money needs to precede the problem, not follow it. So what does California's future look like? Well, it's up to us. We know what needs to happen, and the California Salmon and Steelhead Coalition believes in a hopeful future. One of the first things that we need is actually a clear scientific basis for a trigger for when we actually say, okay, we're getting such below average rainfall, we are going into a drought. We need to make sure that our permitting systems are fast and efficient for climate adaptation strategies and projects. We need to make sure that we have sufficient state funding to be able to fund the implementation of these projects. And if we really want to pick up the pace and scale of restoration, of climate resiliency solutions, we need to make sure that our agencies also have the resources to be able to be an effective and efficient partner. It's just a question of finding the political will and the funding and the investment to get those changes made. And, you know, we can really see a bright future for California salmon and steelhead, and for people, frankly. I mean, we can get the water we need. It's just gonna take a lot of will to get us there. The bottom line is that we need California to take drought seriously. So what we're hoping to do is empower these agencies, both through funding and through a permanent drought unit, to make these changes more effectively, consistently, and efficiently, so that there's a long-term and a permanent solution at these agencies. We can have a future where we have vibrant rivers, and we have healthy salmon runs, and we have reliable water supplies. 